welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn maths uh, so we have learned almost the parts of uh, first chapter arithmetic sequence so today we can learn a few more uh, in this chapter so video like kadakkunnathinu munbu ende video adeyittu kaanunnavaraane ki channel subscribe cheya video ishtapettirundengil like cheya endenga doubt undengil comment box cheya so come back to our video so nammal uh, ഒരു അരിത്മറ്റിക് സീക്വൻസ് ഉണ്ട് ആൾജിബ്രിക് എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ എങ്ങനെ എഴുതാന്ന് പഠിച്ചിട്ട് ഹൗ ടു റൈറ്റ് എൻ ആൾജിബ്രിക് എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഓഫ് എൻ അരിത്മറ്റിക് സീക്വൻസ് സോ ഇഫ് വി ഗെറ്റ് എൻ ആൾജിബ്രിക് എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഡു യു നോ ഹൗ ടു റൈറ്റ് ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് ടേം ആൻഡ് ദി കോമൺ ഡെഫിനൻസ് സോ അതായത് ഇപ്പം ത്രീ എൻ പ്ലസ് വൺ ദിസ് ഇസ് എൻ അരിത്മറ്റിക് ആൾജിബ്രിക് എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ ഓഫ് എൻ അരിത്മറ്റിക് സീക്വൻസ് or uh, nth term of an arithmetic sequence so what is d what is x1 what is the common difference and what is the first term i will teach you how to find the common difference and the first term from the algebraic expression so d will be always the uh, number along with the vari uh, number along with the variable here the n uh, the number along with n is so the common difference will also be 3 it's very easy nothing to learn more the number along with n will be the common difference next what is the first term first term will be the operations and numbers excluding the n n ne olivaakite baaki illa number add cheyyanengil ipo ivada plus aayirundha namak add cheyyam ivada minus aanu namal adu subtract cheyyanum so we have to Uh, just to exclude the variable and they use the uh, or operate the other numbers adha the ipo pamal n kaalandale baaki endha ullade 3 plus 1 4 so x1 will be 4 okay so d nu parayunnathu the number along with n and x1 nu parayunnathu the numbers excluding or the operation excluding n now vera question cheyi nokka 4n plus 3 x n is equal to 4n plus 3 what is d and you know video pause it and say no for what is d so d is the number along with the n that is here 4 and the first term will be the operation excluding n n ne ore baaki illa baaki operators use it to say you are here 4 plus 3 7 appo ingane namakku thannale pin sequence eda easy aanallo how to write the sequence first term okay 7 Plus four, eleven plus four, fifteen, and continues goes on like that. So, अपन इतना मात्रा ने एक algebraic expression का मटे आदि ने common difference हूँ, फिर ने first term हूँ, ऐसा नहीं आ रहे, चेंज नहीं आ रहे। तो मैंने इंगेन एक expression का मटे d का नोड का मटे, इसलाय x का नोड का मटे, sequence का मटे चो। Now if I ask you uh, how many Uh, how many numbers or how many are how many terms will be there till uh till 39 appo idu 39 vare ee sequence nan eduvaanengil how many terms will be there appo namale kandupidikkan padichittunde endo n is equal to number of terms kandupidikkan namu padichalanallo n is equal to x n minus x1 by d plus y So x n here is thirty nine. X one is seven. Come and see it. Okay. X n here is thirty nine, and x one is seven by common difference here is four plus one. Thirty nine minus seven thirty two by four plus one. That is eight two plus one. Nine terms. Seven eleven fifteen nineteen. Angle number nine terms. Ninth term are the. 39 or another upon 9 terms in the sequence so namaku vera question cheyi nokka or you can do it by yourself kar ella questions discuss cheyanu nal chalapam idu video very lengthy ay povanda so i will give you another question 5n minus 2 minus oru onnum illa x1 kandupidikkumbo 5 minus 2 cheyanada cheyan mari add cheyanadinu avaram n kandittu 5 minus 2 cheyya and uh, we can find the x1 and uh, d from the following 
so five and minus two uh, first term common difference next term uh, three seven eleven etc uh, in the sequence uh, we can find the nth term nth term we can find the nth term when you have a sequence till 39, how many terms are there? That's what we have to do. Next, we have to learn how to find the sum of n terms. What is the n terms? I will note here, I will note the number. Sum of num, eh, sorry, n terms in the sum of n terms. So, how to find the sum of n terms? The general formula, uh, natural numbers in a formula, natural numbers in a whole numbers in a even numbers in a separate formula. And then, the general idea, last sequences in a museum, but in a formula, Sn is equal to n by 2x1 plus xn. Okay? Uh, Sn is equal to n by 2x1 plus xn. X and other than the end of the number of terms, so, x1 and other than the first term, x and other than the last term. So, this is the general formula for finding the sum of n terms. Now, we need to note the next natural numbers are under the category n into n plus 1 by 2. So, 5 first 5 natural numbers are under the 5 into 6 by 2, n plus 1 and other than 5 next number. 5 into 6 by 2. Well, this is natural numbers in the formula. Okay. The next odd numbers in the easy and n square. This is the formula for finding the first n terms of odd number. First 10 odd numbers in the sum of 100. It will be 100 because 10 square means 100. And next for even numbers, n into n plus 1. This is the uh, formula for finding the first n terms of even numbers. If, uh, if the question is to find the sum of first 10 even numbers, 10 and 11, that is 110 will be the sum. So, either one, but yeah, three terms are the general formula for finding this sum. And then, in the, uh, in the starting of this class, we have learned how to find the common difference and the first term from an algebraic expression of nth term. From nth term in algebraic expression, we have the first term in common difference. And the next sum in the algebraic expression could be added. How to find the common difference of first term? So, the uh, algebraic expression of a uh, sum, uh, sum of an arithmetic sequence will be always, uh, will be always second degree equation. And that is 4n square plus 2n. Uh, it will be something like this. And that is square and down. And that is a variable square and down. Second degree equation. So, 4x square plus 2n. If we have a number of terms, d will be 4n square into 4. A is the number. That number is double. That is into 2. That is the year 8. If we have a common difference, 8 take. Next, x1. First term is 100. That is the common difference. n square. That is the variable cell. That is the number of terms. That is the number of terms. That is the number of terms. So, this will be the first term. So, we will sum in the algebraic expression in the d u x1. So, we will do the same thing. Now, we will do the same thing. Now, 6n2 minus 3n2. D is the same thing. D is the same thing. 6n2. 6n2. That is 12. Now, first term is equal to 6 minus 3. Then, we will add 0 to 1. Then, we will add 0 to 1. Then, we will add 0 to 1. Now, we will add 0 to 1. Then, 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 we will add 0 to 1. What will be the sum of first 20 terms? First 20 terms. First 20 terms. We have to write x20. X20. We have to write x20. We have to write x20. We have to write the formula. N by 2 x1 plus xn. We have to write 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 x20. Because we have to find the sum of 20 terms. So we have to first find the x20. 
x to n ini mana dia? Ia itu x one lah mana tu? So x one plus nine b. X one ini dia orang ini sih, nama kita tiga jenis itu mana? Jenis itu mana kita mana kerja ni? X one ini dia kuda nine b proportion common different side dia mana x to dia tu? So four plus nine b into b ini dia berapa? Four apa? Four plus nine itu kuda dia six three seventy six. Apa mana dia? X twenty ini mana? Mana dia? Eight ya. Ini ni mana x twenty kalau tu dia? X one plus twenty minus one adalah nine b. Okay, apa ini yang kita kerjakan? Okay, kita four itu jadi yang kita simpan se. X twenty ini orang itu dah kita kerjakan. Ini yang kita kerjakan formula ni. Formula ni yang kita substitute untuk kita. N by two x one plus x ni adalah kita formula. Tapi n ini orang itu berada twenty dalam sini adalah kita kerjakan lagi. Tapi twenty by two x one ini orang itu dia four orang. X twenty ini orang yang kita faham dia itu eighty orang. So, 20 by 2, 10 into 4 plus 80, that is 84, 84 into 10, 840. So, the sum of first 20 terms of the sequence is 840. So, we have learned almost all the formulas in our words. So, in this chapter, we have learned all the formulas in our words. So, we have learned all the basic problems in our videos. So, by one or two videos, we can finish our chapter. If you have any doubts, please leave a comment box. If you upload the next video, please leave a comment box. Goodbye!